Hello everybody, welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. So, um, we're going to try this one here. It's called The Other. This is from the uh, Piero, uh, Pierano Estate in Lodi, though I heard sometimes they say Lodi over there. Uh, California, this is the 2006 uh, white wine. It is a blend of 65% Chardonnay, 25% Sauvignon Blanc, and 10% Viognier. And on the back they go, <coughs> not that. <laughs> Sorry about that, excuse me. Um, the back of the label says this, 65% Chardonnay, that 25% Sauvignon Blanc, and the other 10% Viognier. Tastefully seductive. seductive. The other Appalachian, Lodi, California, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so anyway, um, six eighty eight at World Market, though uh, its suggested retail is $13.99, somewhere around the $13 to $14 range. So uh, it's been heavily discounted. And uh, let's check it out. I've seen it over there for a while. I've also seen it in a couple of restaurants. So um, let's see what it's like. Now, something about this wine versus the other 80 episodes of uh, 1337 Wine TV is that this wine has been open for at least 12 hours, pretty close to that. I think I may have opened it 11 and a half hours ago, but opened it 12 hours ago, and um, that was really because uh, I went to work. And it's 3 in the morning now, so I just came home. Uh, long shift. And uh, this is something you can do with wines. Again, remember, there's not much surface area. Uh, if you open the wine ahead of time, you have two hours or whatever. But it will affect the wine somewhat. So if you open it up like before you go to work, you come home, uh, it should have um, aerated at least enough. So the initial, uh, the initial smell, the initial sniff, if you will, was um, I felt like I had got like something like pineapple-y. But this time I'm getting kind of like a burnt. Now I feel like I'm getting a burnt popcorn smell. So uh, a hint of butter, but really the popcorn burnt smell. With, with a little bit of, of fruit, but really more, I don't know why. Yeah, they're, they're, I guess kind of pineapple-y, tropical fruit in this, and a little bit of, of burnt wood, or maybe a little burnt popcorn. Interesting, never had anything like that before, so let's uh, see how it is on the palate. Tasty, um, especially for seven dollars. I mean, I think it's a pretty good wine for for seven. I mean, even at thirteen ninety nine, I wouldn't turn my nose up at it. Um, you're getting some of that fruit again. Yeah. Um, I'm mean, kind of struggling to, to come up with specifics on the palate. It's, it's tasty. Um, it's smooth. There's not much acid to it. There's a little bit of heat, but that's really probably because it's room temperature. Um, it, it's, it's got a good mouthfeel to me. It's... Um, it's kind of silky, it, uh, like not much acid to it, but there's a hint of it. Um, maybe a little buttery, so that you know it's kind of tasty, a little buttery. I don't get the the buttered popcorn um, 
flavor to it. I'm not getting that burned flavor, no, nor am I getting the pineapple, but it, it seems like there's a hint of fruit. Maybe it's that pineapple. Um, I, I don't think it's a bad wine. I think it's pretty, it, it's easy, pleasant drinking. You know, I get a lot more off of the off the bouquet than, than, than the palate. So that's why I think I'm kind of liking the wine as much as I am. But uh, I, I give it an 87, 86, 86. Give it an 86. Um, it's not quite up there for, I mean, I know it's just one point, but it's just, there's, in my mind, there's that, that little bit extra oomph that it doesn't get to get to an 87, which, you know, usually it's the 89 to 90 oomph that you're worried about, not worried about, that we talk about. But uh, 86, I mean, it's it's nice. I think it will pair well with some food. Um, I can see, you know I can see happening with this? Chinese food. That's probably the Viognier that's really... Give me that. I, I, I see having some rice with it. Um, some fried rice. Maybe it's because we had some of that recently, a couple days ago. Uh, and I can see having this wine with that. Um, you know, li lighter lighter dishes like that. Even maybe some spicy stuff. Even though it's not a sweet wine. Maybe not th nothing too spicy. For, I mean, I like spicy food and, and this would probably go for me. But probably most people know. Otherwise, um... Pretty decent, 86, yeah, sure, why not? Um, okay, so as always, you know, click uh, click the links to a friend me up. Whoops. Click the links to friend me up. Um, friend me up on Facebook, Twitter. Uh, let your friends know about the show. Uh, to tell them to check it out. Uh, hopefully, if I did everything I was supposed to do this weekend, Northwest Italy is up for sommelier school. It was a little late. I'm um, just really getting used to the, sorry about that, I'm really just getting used to the whole new schedule that I've got and trying to plan in advance for stuff. Um, I know Monday I couldn't do the review Monday, so as soon as I, get home, soon as I got home I went ahead and did the review because these take a lot less time than Salmi A School. Salmi A School literally takes 8 to 10 hours of total time to do. So um, that's why I, I, I kind of slack on that occasionally because I'm trying to coordinate that. But uh, hopefully tomorrow, uh, being Saturday, uh, as far as how this is being recorded, actually Saturday right now, try to get a lot of the research done, maybe get the episode recorded on Sunday, up on Sunday, and, which was yesterday as far as you guys are concerned. That's it. Hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I know I am, and I have every day, an outstanding day. And we'll see everybody again next time.